a year that began with yet another lockdown and ended with a list of must-watch series so lengthy we still haven't managed to tick them all off, 2021 proved to be a strange 12 months. Despite the difficulties faced by productions, the quality of the shows gracing our screens hasn't wavered. And with enough stellar entertainment currently on offer to see us through, it is time to reflect on the dramatic plot twists, shock announcements and enlightening documentaries that caused a stir this year. Here are a handful of the telly moments that really got us talking. Line of Duty. No roundup would be complete without an appearance from D.I. Kate Fleming. With actress Vicky McClure stepping back into the inspector's shoes, the sixth series of the hit BBC show once again kept audiences on the edge of their seats. Returning alongside fellow actors Martin Compston as Detective Inspector Steve Arnott and Adrian Dunbar as Superintendent Ted Hastings. The AC-12's nose for uncovering police corruption is seemingly unparalleled. Already claiming the title of the UK's most-watched drama series of the century, Line of Duty's cult following led 12.8 million people to watch the series' six finale at the time of airing. Audiences do not get much bigger than that. As for the identity of the elusive H, you'll have to watch and discover that for yourself. Led by years and years Ollie Alexander, five-part drama It's a Sin saw audiences laugh, cry and gasp in equal measure. Created by Queer as Folk and Doctor Who screenwriter Russell T. Davis, the series tracked a group of gay men and their friends as they navigated the UK's HIV-slash-AIDS crisis throughout the 80s and early 90s. Complete with a nostalgic soundtrack that had us dancing in our living rooms, kitchens and bedrooms, this frank, and often shocking, portrayal of London's gay scene as it was ravaged by the then little-known disease saw an average of 2.3 meters viewers tune in per episode. Starring Lydia West, Nathaniel Curtis, Callum Scott Howells, Sean Dooley, and Omari Douglas, the series sees the group of friends band together in an attempt to raise mainstream awareness of the illness, in turn helping the subject to become less of a taboo. A series initially declined by both the BBC and ITV, it took a long-fought battle by Channel 4's commissioning editor of drama, Lee Mason, for the show to finally reach our screens.